What's going on guys, King Strats here back on the video on the channel. We have got a new food find alert. Chipotle added a menu item that is an in-app exclusive until the day that you see this, it will be available in stores, limited time only. They added brisket, and I'm a fan of brisket, so when I got wind of it, I said I'm gonna take my jolly self down to Chipotle and get myself the brisket to try. So if you are digging the content, you wanna see more food finds, more really just food, anything, like, subscribe, thumbs up, and all of that. Cringy YouTube stuff, I'm not gonna hold y'all and get right into it. It is the one in the middle. Now, I got it on tacos because I wasn't sure how I was gonna deal and I wanted to try it kind of just like as is instead of getting it in a burrito or something like that. So we've got some really sad looking tacos here because they moved all over the place through transit, but that's the brisket chilling right in the middle. And the reason I got it without any salsa or anything on it is because I wanted to try it just like it is. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is grab me one of these. So the first thing I want to do is try one of these pieces, as is, nothing on it, just so I know what's going on. This is a weird looking piece, but we're going to start with that anyway. Nah, that's stupid. <laughs> Let me get a full piece over here, man. Okay. Here we go. Brisket time. I ain't going to You definitely get the smokiness right away. Definitely. And it's not chewy. It does melt in your mouth. Well, better than I thought it would. I expected to get some chewy pieces, if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna try the second bite in a taco. I didn't put anything on it, I will. Salsa and sour cream on the side. That's pretty good. They're pretty tender. Better than I thought. All right, now let's start dressing this up. Let's just do it layer by layer. Now we added the pico. White three. I'm liking what I'm tasting. I ain't gonna much lie to you. All right, let's get some sour cream on here too. Layer by layer. Now, I will admit that I am not the biggest fan of Chipotle. I feel like the price points are a little too high. And a lot of times when I ordered it, it was very salty. It has been, how long has it been? Almost two years, I would say, maybe longer since I've had any Chipotle whatsoever. That brisket is probably one of the more enjoyable tacos that I've had from them if not the most enjoyable. Overall, it's nowhere near as chewy as the steak is because brisket is a much fattier cut than the steak you're probably using. I really enjoy the smokiness in there. I think it works well with some of these ingredients and the smoke taste is very, very apparent the minute that you bite into it. For people who care about calories, a serving of this is 360 calories. All of their other meats are 200 and under, so it's double the calories. But I do think you get what you pay for. I also understand that brisket is usually more expensive. 
as is every item that I saw on their menu started at over ten dollars so it was like 1085 and up depending on your brisket burrito quesadilla so it is pretty pricey for a burrito with that being said again I haven't had Chipotle in a while I think I enjoyed it more than the other things that I have gotten from them and just to be sure I did get steak because I wanted to use it as comparison so I did get a steak burrito bowl here let me give you a little little action and pretty cool they actually do when you use the app have your order on there so you don't get any confusion nice touch I haven't seen that so what I got is a bowl burrito bowl with steak white rice fajitas black beans chicken and pico and I added my own sour cream because mine is fat free and I don't want to just use regular sour cream because I try to watch you know the calories on here and you can really save when you do that so here's a piece of steak for comparison steak seems a little bit bigger it's definitely drier um, when you bite into it I get that right away let me get one more bite of this the brisket's definitely got more of a, a crust to it but when you bite into it definitely a lot juicier I don't know if they're smoking this or if they're getting it that way and this is the chicken The brisket is definitely the best. Juiciest cut, less chewy, and that smoky taste just works so well. But it is expensive. So just know that if you do want to try it, I do recommend you try it because I do enjoy it a lot. But the price point, I mean, you are paying for brisket, it's going to cost you more. I don't know how people are going to feel about a $12 burrito. That's the only thing I'll add. That's that's a bit much. But all in all, I have to say that if you don't care about the price, which you know some people are bald like that, I'm not. It's definitely good. I think it's worth it to try at least once if you like Chipotle. Yeah. I'm a fan. Play the musical shuffle. Let's move this along. I did get two burrito bowls. Let me just give you what's in this last one here. This burrito bowl is about 650 calories, it says on the website. Usually when you measure this stuff, it's going to be a lot more um, because it's, it's not exact measurements. They're using scoops, so it's ballpark. I would say it's probably closer to 900, if you want to be honest. But here's what's on here. Got a bowl with white rice, black beans, chicken, queso blanco, and pico. I never get sour cream or cheese on any of it because, again, I care more about, the, like, not more about, but I don't miss that when you're talking about calories. And it's just a way to keep the calories down when you get Chipotle. That's like a, like a, I'm not trying to be like Mr. Dietitian over here, some of like corn sauce, but it's an easier way to keep the calories down. If you don't care, then get the cheese and all that stuff. Um, since I'm eating at home, I have my own sour cream. It's fat free. Uh, this one's like 30 calories a serving as opposed to like, full fat sour cream which is like I think it's 80 I haven't had full fat sour cream in so long I couldn't tell you but before I do that I found these at the gas station Slim Jim pork rinds squealing hot I don't know what the hell that means but I did want to try them I do like pork rinds a lot but chicharrones as they call them pretty much the same thing alright let's that why do they come on fat fingers there we go. I don't really smell like anything, I'll be honest.
It tastes like regular bagged pork rinds. Um, the sauce is similar, flaming hot. Like they're not crazy hot. I don't know why I call them squealing hot because I'm not really squealing at all. They're not the best. They're all right. Um, I feel like it's just one of those things where people try to market stuff. They're like, oh, Slim Jim. I feel like if you're gonna use a Slim Jim name, I think a little funny, you know, skinny glizzy. And there's nothing about that that puts me to the mind of it. Nice branding. I wouldn't buy it again though. But I'm still gonna eat them some fat. 360 calories for a bag. Not worth the calories. I'd rather just give me some nachos. Which I had. There's only one way to eat a burrito bowl. Am I wrong? So you get that? Just take this bad boy like this, right? And I'll be honest, I don't really trust people to just eat the, like just like this. Like, you gotta mix. Like, why don't you, I don't know. Call me old fashioned, whatever it is, but I, I don't do that. Like, some people just eat it as is and they start like grabbing little pieces out of it. Like, it's not a pie, bro. Like, mix the damn thing up. How do you get everything in every bite if you don't mix it up? Cause you know you ain't putting these together for cosmetic purposes. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a little messed up. That's it. There we go. You gotta mix that bad boy up. Once you got it properly mixed, you grab yourself a nacho chip. And you get right up in the middle right here. And then, you eat it. Let me know, am I right or wrong? That's perfect. Then you can add a little bit of sour cream if you want to. Start throwing it up on there like that. Problem. Y'all eat it like that? I can't do it. I gotta see something. Again, this is my first time having Chipotle in two years. So for me, I just kinda wanna see what it was hitting for. This burrito bowl is only like six and change. Listen, I'm gonna eat it. Because I'm a husky boy. But is it just me? Or is Chipotle's like, it's like too much salt. Am I crazy? I feel like it's salt and shit out of the food, man. Like, if I'm eating, and I know I, I can't really call this Mexican because it's not Mexican food. I think they call it fresh Mex, right? If I'm eating fresh mix, the first ingredient that I taste should not be salt. Again, there's no such thing as a wrong opinion. Maybe I got a different opinion to me. But I always have that feeling. And I think it's these chips. Honestly, it's fucking everything. This is why I don't got that many food sponsors, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Is it bad? No. I just feel like I can make it better. Like me, and I'm not a chef. Now I do be cooking, but I'm not a chef. And if I'm buying, whatever this was, I think it was six and a quarter, but I might be wrong. Your boy was absolutely tripping. I don't know where the hell I got six and a quarter from. It was nine ninety five. If I'm getting a ten dollar burrito bowl, I don't want it salty. Some people don't like chipotle because of the cilantro. No, it's very like heavy and especially in the rice. I like cilantro. Don't mind it at all. It's just too much damn salt. Let me try this one, bro. 
I don't even feel like mixing this up. I'm just gonna eat it. I got fajita veggies in here too, so it might be a little different. All right, boom, boom, boom. Is this one better? I know what it is. I think it's the queso. Let me see. All right, two things. I figured it out. Number one, the queso throughout makes it very salty. And when you don't have sour cream, it makes it even more salty because there's nothing to balance that out. But I don't feel like sour cream should be needed. Let me see now. That's what it is. That's still kind of, no, this one is just a queso, bro. Let me get one more here. Yeah, that's the queso too. That's an L on my part. I want to try queso. I love queso. But they don't bang like that. This one's much better with veggies and no queso. Much better. But even with that, I don't care what y'all say. A lot of people don't ask me to do Chipotle. Again, this is my opinion, and I'm not going to lie. The brisket was dope, but overall, I feel like because of the saltiness, it gives the food a non-homemade thing. And when Chipotle first dropped, this is why nobody sponsors me, bro. I don't give a, I'm finna say it anyway. When they first dropped, it wasn't like this. When they got bigger, the quality of their ingredients went down. It is just not as good as it used to be. And I noticed it one time, it was really, really salty. And ever since then, I went like two or three more times. And I've never went away like, oh yeah, like, I don't want to pay $11 for a burrito bowl. That's all right. I'll pay what it's worth. But I'm not dropping $11 on something when it's like, oh, well, it's salty, but I can eat it. Not in this case. They got too many competitors at this point. You know what I'm saying? So... That's just salty, bro. I'm sorry. No. Nah. Let me try this one more time. I don't like being like this. It's not that I like, I hate it. It's just, it ain't worth. For me, food is always about price point, value, and then obviously how good it is. If I get a cheeseburger for a dollar, I'm not expecting this crazy quality cheeseburger. It costs a dollar. A dollar fifty dollar menu burger. When I start dropping seven, eight dollars, I'm expecting something a little better. But when I drop certain places, you know, the larger chains, the Shake Shacks, the Five Guys, and I drop 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars on a cheeseburger, I'm expecting restaurant quality stuff. Because if I went to a restaurant, like a Chili's, which I don't really like, that's what you're dropping on a meal. So, it's gotta, you know what, like, I, would, I, I truthfully, I could've made something better than this. And for me, just being like, well, it's edible, that's not enough when you drop $10 on readable. Again, that's my opinion. I know people love Chipotle, but for me, I, I guess there's like smaller burrito chains or like small franchises or, or like one-offs that are just better. And I would much rather go to like the local taco spot, which you've seen me do, and it costs less than this and it's better. That's not a good look in my opinion, but that's my opinion. Is the, is the brisket worth it? Yes, but if you have your local taqueria, go to the taqueria, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. They probably do brisket if you ask them to. <laughs> they don't care. And they care more about the, the customer than the bottom line and the dollar and stuff like that. They want to make money, but they want to put on quality food. That's just my opinion. So I, I just, like, uh, sorry, we move. 
I did it anyway. I had to give you my opinion. I never lie to y'all. I'm always keep it a buck. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.